Today we're gonna to talk about the simplest concept for a baseline out of bounds play. So the first thing is just like, I'll tell you right now, the majority of coaches spend so much time on baseline out of bounds. They overthink it, over process it. I've seen this in high school. Frankly, I've seen this in middle school, elementary school, high school, college, NBA. You over process it to a crazy amount. This is why I love Nate Oates. He does such a good job simplifying the game, making it easier to get efficient shots and definitely not confusing players. Okay, so what's the first thing he does? Right there, we just saw number 11. You look, where was he looking? He was looking right at Nate Oates. Nate Oates is telling him, go to the other side. That's just one less defender in the picture. 11 just clears out to the other side, and we'll see why here in a second. Okay, now we got two players on this side of the court. Just a simple pass into 12. Okay, so what's the first thing you need? Why is this player on the inbounder? Okay, it's not because they want a big guard and a guard. It's because this player has a longer wingspan. Ideally, that makes it a tougher pass in for Alabama. Alabama's like, oh, we don't even need to make a complex, complex pass. We'll just post up 12, throw a right to his outside hand. And then what happens? Oh, now that you've given us this advantage, we're gonna take this guard and we're gonna put him where he belongs, where he's most efficient on the perimeter, a great three-point shooter, athletic. And now you have this big that you chose to put on our guard, guarding this guard. Hey, what are we going to do? We're going to give them space. We give them essentially one-on-one -on -one action. Everyone else is spaced out. And you got good shooters, so you got not a whole lot of help. Just attack that man. Hey, you have the advantage. Go right at him. And even though he misses this shot, that is still an efficient look. And it's a simple, efficient look that I still love as a coaching strategy. It leads to better looks in the long run, and it keeps it simple to allow your players to understand it with peace and ease of mind. So shout out to Nate Oates, even though they didn't make the layup, it can still be a good look and great coaching.